don't you stop Cause tonight, it's on the line Show me how, you get on down Close my eyes, take me for a ride Hey guys, good morning Welcome back to my channel Today, I'm planning to go back to Costco not for groceries, but I need to get some garden stuff. It's already June. It's actually June 3rd. Summer is around the corner and I have not finished planting everything that I wanted for my garden. I don't have a big garden. I have some yard. I just don't want to overtake my yard. And so the little area that I do have, I planted a few plants. One tomato in a pot, one tomato on the ground, and then an eggplant. I do have a little area for my strawberries that grew from last year, but this guy that I'm just about to show you grew in my potato box. It looks kind of funky, right? It's a potato, but it's a, I don't know if you want to call it purple yam. We call it ube. I bought this at the Indian grocery store about two months ago. I meant to make my own ube halaya for recipes and also for halo halo, but instead I didn't use it and it started to grow. So my goal today is to go to Costco, get one of those huge pots and some soil and plant this guy and see if I can grow anything. So I have planted potatoes before, I would say two years ago. I did get potatoes out of it, but it just takes a long, long time. So this guy, I wanna put it in the pot and see if I can grow more purple yams. So just to let you guys know, I did post a video. I posted it today. Of course, you won't see this video until like next week. Originally, I wanted to post a Costco video. I shopped with my son. We went and we bought some snacks. It wasn't a budget-minded haul because, you know, boys can eat a lot of food. So I had lost that footage. I lost the SD card. I'm so bummed out about it. Today, I posted a beefsteak video. And if you haven't seen that, go ahead and take a look at it the beef comes out so delicious so flavorful you'd want to cook it at least once a week so anyway i'm gonna go head out to costco and get the things that i need for my purple yam by the way this is the size comparison next to my strawberry plants it is a pretty big tuber and i don't want to waste a whole area just for my purple yam so that's why i'm buying a pot here are the strawberries that grew from last year i had a whole bunch more but my husband accidentally <laughs> pulled them out thinking there were weeds so you see i do have some strawberries already growing oh look it wants to grow more which i will let it and here's one that's getting red they're not big i think i need to fertilize it some more i did put here the chicken poop and i did fertilize this once with liquid fertilizer so i'll be fertilizing this again here's one of my two sunflowers these are the mammoth sunflowers i know i planted a third one i just don't remember where i put it and if i did plant it my husband may have pulled it out accidentally i hate to get these kind of carts i just find it more difficult to push around but I do need soil here's how the entrance of my local Costco looks like and on the side over here are items I guess they want to sell quicker they do have some sales crest white strips uh, looks like you're getting 60 for $33 and then for bug repellents, you'll get three pack of six ounces for $13. Nothing shouts out summertime. <laughs> Besides having water guns, pools, floaties, more pools. Oh my gosh. I just love their summer items. And a whole bunch of beach towels. These are not on sale. There are $11.49. This is different. This is the first time I've seen all this jewelry here before. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh I'm in trouble now. Oh, how pretty. Oh. They look like they're reasonably priced. This necklace here is for $80. This is a pretty necklace, but it looks like it's for $250. I love earrings. This one is for $50. So you see how easy it is to get distracted here. I came here for planting pots. 
and there's a whole bunch of jewelry. I'm not gonna buy anything because it is still a little pricey for me. Here's the garden trellis that I showed you on another video. I haven't bought one yet, but because I need to grow or I want to grow some long string beans, I need to find a trellis. I'm still deciding if I should get this or try to make one of my own. I don't have a tractor supply company near my house to buy cattle. What do you call it? Cattle fencing? So this is not a bad price. I'm just still thinking about it. I'm on the fence about it. Looks like this is their potting soil. We have 50 quart of miracle Grow organic potting mix for $10. And let's see, I think I'll use one. One bag for one pot, but I need to find the pot first. I'm getting a little bit worried. I don't see any pots. I'm gonna walk around this area here and hopefully I find something. But in the meantime, look at this water table. <laughs> it's for $69. Here's a large tent. <laughs> I like it how they have it on display right above me. I found the rug that I was looking for several weeks ago. And Costco usually has a great deal. This is 30 inches by 45 inches. And they're selling it for $16. They have different kinds of patterns. The one that I prefer is a little bit on the lighter side, not too light, and with some pattern. Here's how the one I chose looks like. This would look real nice in the corner in the living room where I have the computer now. The only thing is the, the length is too long on this side. I have a shorter wall. It'd be better if it was longer on this end the shape of um, the area that I was thinking about in my house. And this costs $300. Original price is $449. So you're saving $150. I believe I didn't see it, but it's right here. Here's a sample. And yeah, this corner part right here, this is too long. But it's a nice quality desk. I've been needing this folding wagon ever since we went to North Carolina. My brother and sister-in-law had a wagon like this and it was really easy to take apart and also to pull. And so if we were to go to the beach or go to the park or anywhere else that we needed a wagon, this would be it. It's not on sale, it is $90, but I would say it's a reasonable price. I wonder if my husband would get mad at me if I buy one today. I'm taking my chances, <laughs> but we really do need one. Are you into fitness? Here is a Inspire Fitness FTX. I don't know what that means, but it's a functional trainer with bench. Has the weights and the bench here for $1,000. I'm not sure if that's a good price. I don't buy these things, but here is also a dumbbell set. It's 210 pounds. And it's for $330. Now, I think this is pricey. I don't know, what do you guys think? My kids are not little anymore, even my nine-year-old is too big for this. But this is a Kidcraft Woodland Playhouse. It has a slide, it has something to climb on, it looks like it has a little table. It even has a second floor. So this is $150 off the price of $650. And so the sale price is $500. It looks like they have several on the bottom here that's available to purchase. Costco knows what they're doing. You can smell the bakery throughout the whole entire store. Hey, jackpot, I found it. This is the 22 inch resin planter. It's on sale. I'm saving $4 off, so it's $18 for this huge planter. Uh, I want to get several of them. Maybe one more. I came to my senses and I'm just getting one. I put the other two back. I tend to go here on Fridays because I'm off Friday mornings. But it's quite busy. There's a few people over here shopping for some clothes. And pretty much every aisle has somebody shopping. You can see how high Costco stacked their shelves. All right, so time for the soil. I'm just gonna grab one of these guys and let it fall on my cart. Ooh. I still have to pull 
this and fix it on my cart. Ugh, it's falling off. All right. Here's what my cart looks like so far. I have the 50 quart of soil. I have the foldable carts. I have the 22 inch resin planter and the rug that I need to put by the door, the front door. The front of the playhouse, that is pretty cute. I like it how it has two stories. And then the pretty tall slide. For a kid, it's a tall slide. And then right next to it, it says here, it's a pump and splash shady oasis water activity center. How cute is that? I love that water pump. Oh my gosh, that's unique. This is the first time I've seen this. Going up and down the aisles, and I just want to show you the price of that very large tent that was above my head. Sorry guys, I don't see the price for this tent. I keep walking around and I don't see it. So, but something else that's interested is a camping cot for $50. You see up there? At a say Costco, you have pretty nice furniture at a reasonable price. We have a four piece table with three chairs. It's like a long table for $300. So you're saving right now $150. Original price is $449.99. Here's how it looks like in the back here. Pretty cute. Here's a six piece modular sectional. I guess you can conform it to however it will fit best in your house. And they have it not on like sale sale, not on sale price, but they're selling it for $1,500. My daughter and I are going to be baking some cookies today. And I do want to snack on some almonds. My son likes to snack on these too. I'll be getting one of these bags. Let's see. It's three pounds of almonds for $10.69. And I'm going to just dump it in here. This is my storage area. And pecans also are good for cookies or in cookie recipes, as well as a snack on. I'm getting a bag, there's two pounds, and this costs a little bit more. This is $13. You can't make chocolate chip cookies without the chocolate chips. We already used one of these large bags. It lasted us for months. And so this is the Kirkland brand. So we have 72 ounces for $9.49. This is a really great deal. Dump that in there too. This is what I'm talking about. A lot of people here all the time. Their honey prices are pretty good too. This is the Kirkland raw honey. It's 40 ounces for $11. I'm not gonna get this today. I don't really use too much honey. My mother-in-law does, she uses on her tea. And um, I'll just use the regular sugar for the cookies. So I'm not gonna use the honey. It's one pound, eight ounces of the raw honey in this little bear container. So there's three 24 ounces basically. And it's for $16. Next to the little cute bear container of honey is the wildflower honey. It's five pounds. It's pretty heavy. And it is for $17. Last time I was here, I bought a 12 pound of the King Arthur flower for $8. I just can't find bread flour in this Costco. I don't know why. Costco, if you're hearing or you're watching this video, please add some bread flour to all of your Costco's. Over here is the Ardent Mills all-purpose flour. It's 25 pounds and it's actually a really good price, $11.15. Almond flour, if you guys use almond flour. Now when I was on strict keto, I did use almond flour and I think I still have some left. So there's three pounds for $11.49. Here's some yeast. I already have a large container which I don't know how long I'll be using it for because I still have plenty of it. Um, it's probably going to go bad before I even use the whole thing, but this is two pounds for five dollars. Every time I come back here, I see the vanilla extract getting cheaper and cheaper. They're selling it now for ten dollars and seventy-nine cents for a sixteen-ounce container. On the back, it says it has thirty-five percent alcohol. So I don't know if that makes a difference, but I've seen videos where they have 100%, um, well, it's in like vodka or something. So does that make a difference on how it tastes like and how long it preserves? Comment below. 
Oh, you naughty cookie. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna call it because it tasted so good. This is the cookie that I didn't buy last time because I just was trying to save some money. It's still $10, it still tastes great. But I'm making a whole bunch of cookies today, so I'm not gonna get you today. Hopefully you're still around the next time I come back. And over here are keto cookies. I've never seen this here in Costco or at all. And this one has coconut. Total grams of carb is one for, it says you get five cookies is a serving size. And this is for $11.79. Here's another new keto item. It's called Catalina Crunch Cinnamon Toast Cereal. It says total grams of carbs. Does it say? I'm gonna turn this around, let's find out. So total grams of carbs is five because you minus the fiber from the total grams of carb i don't see any sugar alcohol in here so it looks like it's five grams and here is the ingredients if you haven't tried the keto nut granola i highly recommend it it says here total grams of carbs is three and it tastes delicious i use this with or i add almond milk to it and it's for $12.79. It's a, it's a good snack for breakfast, lunch, or even dinner, or in between. I still have a little bit left though, so I'm not gonna get it right now. I wanna buy some tuna. I just don't see anything that's on sale right now. Looking at their prices, you get the Bumblebee brand of solid white albacore. There's eight cans, and it's for $17. Chicken of the Sea Chunk Light Tuna. There's 12 cans, or seven ounces in each can. And that's also for $17. So you're getting several cans more for the same price. I haven't tried any of these wild yellowfin tunas, but it looks like you get six cans. There's five ounces each, and it's for $12.79. My family loves corned beef. We saute it with onion and garlic and tomato, and then we pour it over rice or hot rice. You get three 12 ounce cans for $12.69. I'm doing the math on my phone. Three cans for $12.69, so each can costs $4.23. It is still a better price than the grocery stores. I've seen the grocery stores come up to over $5. So this is really interesting. It's called Emergency Food Supply. There's apparently 124 servings. It can be on the shelf for 25 years, so 25 years shelf life. And I was wondering, what is it? I'm like, I see rice, but what else? It doesn't tell you on the front. So when you turn it around, it has cheesy macaroni. There's four servings per container. Apple cinnamon cereal, four servings, brown sugar, and maple multigrain. So what is it, like a hot cereal? Orange drink mix, 16 servings. Vanilla pudding, eight servings. So the price is $60. In my opinion, it's not worth it. Because really, you have the macaroni fine, you have the cereal, multigrain, are those bars? Maybe it's a bar. I don't care for the drink mix, I don't care for the vanilla pudding. You can go without those two. So if it had rice, I don't see where the rice, but there's a picture of the rice. I don't get it. Of course I didn't see it. I had to turn the container around. So they have a whey milk alternative, there's freeze-dried peaches, there's creamy yogurt style dessert. You turn it around again, and then you see here the chicken flavored noodle soup, creamy pasta vegetables, pasta alfredo, southwest rice and beans, and savory stroganoff. Oh, there's another one here. Tomato basil soup with pasta. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, all right, so it makes sense, it makes sense. So the whole container is $60. All right, I can see it's it's kind of worth the price if you think about it. I've been watching a few ladies on YouTube and they talk about food shortages and how to stock up and adding a couple of more items to your grocery list if this seems to be interesting to you or your family will use it because that's really important. Will your family eat it? Then go ahead and buy this. It has 25 year shelf life. I don't see how it will last long for my family if I were to buy this. This would go pretty quick. After taking a million and one photos of the extended shelf life food, <laughs> 
to pose as my thumbnail, I'm gonna go ahead and treat myself and my family to a big bag of Doritos. Looks like the jasmine rice is cheaper. It's $18.49 for the 25 pounds. I remember the last time I bought rice here was about, what, $22? So I'm gonna go ahead and get a bag of rice. I'm also gonna get a bag of basmati rice because I'll be making more curry. And a 20 pound bag of basmati rice costs $18.69. I find that the basmati rice, you have to add a lot more water to it so it expands more than the jasmine. And I feel like you get more for your money for this because you only need fewer cups compared to the jasmine rice when you're cooking it. I can add four cups of the basmati rice and eight cups of water and I'll get a full rice cooker as compared to putting six cups of jasmine rice and then about seven cups of water. That seems to work the best with the jasmine rice in my rice cooker. I'm navigating Costco backwards today. I usually go to the right side of the store and then work my way to the left. And this time I did it kind of like in the middle and then left and then back around to the right. All right, I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna try it a sample. This is the Mush Overnight Oats. Never tried this before. It's on sale for $8. You're saving $2.90 off. We're all waiting for the Angus patties. Ooh, yes. I'll get this one over here. Oh no, I lost my fork, okay. So 12 patties are four ounces each and you're getting it for $17.59. I'm gonna try the patty first. Mm. It's so warm, so it's good. This was a big serving. <laughs> a big sample, I mean. Hi. <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? Do I know you guys when I eat in front of the camera? <laughs> Try the most oatmeal. Hmm. It was a little sweet at first. I guess because I ate the beef. After that, it wasn't too sweet. So hmm. pretty good. Mm -hmm. Got another sample. This is the dumplings. Let's see. Bibogo dumplings for $13.89. That I have bought before. That's pretty good. I took another sample. I got another sample. This is the Kirkland Parmigiano Reggiano. Sorry, I butchered that. But anyway, it's $11.99 a pound. I'm gonna pretend that I'm on my dining room table and I'm eating. I'm eating my sample of cheese. Mm. Mm. I'm sitting on the host chair. Let me show you. So here they have the complete set including the host chairs. I think the last time I showed you this table, the host chairs were missing. So now everything is here. Let me just back up. And guess what? They have a really good sale right now. $400 off this whole entire nine piece Thomasville set. It's huge. So if you guys are into this long table, because this does extend, it's a thousand dollars, guys. Get it now. Get it right now. If you guys are looking for a kayak right now, this Tobin Sports Wave Break Kayak is on sale. It's $190. You're saving $50 off right now. Look how massive this tandem paddle board. <laughs> Look how big it is. Oh my gosh. It's so it's tandem, it means it's for two people. They have the paddle boards there, and it also comes with a pump. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's pretty strong. I'm gonna be on the lookout for any sales on this thing. Here's a single paddle board, and this is for $400. It's not on sale, not yet at least, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it. My son might be interested in this. And if we can use this on a lake or perhaps a beach, I'm not sure about a beach, but a lake would be nice. Going to buy the bell pepper today. I do want to make chicken affrettata. So the 
bell pepper is one of the ingredients needed to make it. I also need my sweet kale. They actually package it differently this time. There's two packages, 14 ounces total for $5. I think this is it. I don't want to spend any more. This is going to be about $300, so I think I'm done. I'm going to head to the register now. I really love to see all the items here during the summer. They have so much. They still have some more pools. They have some floaties up there. There's tandem floaties. You see the big tents? And all this garden stuff. Meanwhile, I'm trying to push my cart one-handed. It's a good thing the, the crowd died down a little bit. All right, let me be serious and push this cart with two hands. I thought this was fake, because I'm touching it. It feels like plastic. This is called the Lorada standard. I thought it was fake, but it's telling us to keep the soil moist, so must be real. I don't know much about plants, but the ones that I've been seeing online, it's called the fiddle leaf. That's what it looked like to me, but it's called the Lorada standard. I'm just walking around the seasonal stuff one more time, just to see if there's anything that I need or maybe want. <laughs> anyway, the kids are in school. This is mommy's downtime. It's Costco. Always love a sale. The fire pit that I showed you in another video is on sale for $250, so you are saving $50. Somebody likes the Angus burgers. They were very delicious. Oh, here's my cart right behind me. Do you love this? I do. <laughs> I started maybe about a few months ago. I'm all checked out. It was actually under $300, less than what I expected. Ooh. I'm trying to get to the person here to check my receipt. Hi there. So under $300, not bad. I know most of this wasn't food, but at least it's something that I get to keep. Costco for another successful shopping trip. So it's been five days since I last filmed the Costco haul. I did not end the haul because I wanted to show you how I planted that large ube tuber. The planter that I bought last time didn't have holes. So here, five days later, I'm going to show you how I planted that purple potato. Here's the pot that I'll be planting the purple potato. On the bottom, you see that we had to drill some holes. Um, I think this thing in the middle is if you want to put a pot and this will be the decorative outside. Um, it looks like it's going to elevate the pot. I don't need that and I don't know what's underneath so I'm going to leave it alone. But there are drainage holes on the bottom that my husband drilled. And here's a beach cart that I bought. came out handy because this bag was really heavy so I used the cart to take it out of the bag and carry it to the backyard. And now I'm still using it to help me fill this pot up. Here's a purple potato, or we call it ube. I'm not sure how deep to plant it, but the growth is pretty tall. So let's see, um, I'm gonna have to read a little bit about it. I did see one video. Maybe I'll just follow the regular directions of how to plant a potato. Anyway, this is a try. No one is testing me on it. If you guys know how to grow this potato plant, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll just try to follow the guidelines that I see growing regular potatoes. And one last thing to show you guys. Strawberries are very red, at least the few that I have here on one plant and we're gonna go pick it today before the animals go and eat it. Here is the one plant that has the beautiful red strawberries and right next to it does have some more strawberries. I know they're very small, they're tiny. So this is just for us, it's for our family. And look, there's tubers that are growing here and over here. So we're gonna have a lot more strawberry plants next year. I am gonna water this, this does look a little dry. 
it needs some fertilizer as well I do have the chicken poop in here which I could smell it <laughs> it's pretty strong but I still need to fertilize it with some liquid fertilizer here's also an update of my sunflower in the backyard it's getting there it's over 12 inches right now all right guys thank you for watching this Costco haul with me I know it started weird and it ended weird because I was talking about my garden but this is what I do this is my real life and I appreciate all those who are subscribing and liking my videos it's helping my channel grow it really really means a lot to me when you guys watch like and subscribe to my channel and it makes me want to continue making more videos all right guys again I appreciate all that you guys are doing liking subscribing watching my videos and I will see you again next time bye